situation is calm outside Brackenfell High School in Cape Town. Tensions were high following a clash between EFF members and some parents on Monday. This was over a private metric dance organized by a group of parents. ENC's Ronald Masinda is following developments there for us on this Wednesday morning. What's the current situation outside the school this morning, Ronald? Good morning. Good morning, Pratan. Well, the situation remains relatively calm. We are still seeing quite a few parents of learners from Brackenfell High still gathered here. We're also seeing quite a heavy police presence still here near the school and also law enforcement who have cordoned off the area as you enter the school. Now, of course, and what can only be described yesterday as a game of cat and mouse, parents and those in support of the parents of learners from the institution waited with bated breath to see whether or not EFF members would arrive here in Brackenfell. Of course, they were a no-show. We've since heard, Bratan, that around six of the EFF supporters were injured during those violent clashes on Monday with a 22-year-old lady uh, having since opened a case with the police after she was repeatedly beaten during those clashes. One of the the members of the EFF has also laid claims of malicious damage to property after his vehicle was stoned. But the good news for now is that the situation remains calm. Well, it is by-election Super Wednesday with political parties vying for so many uh, wards uh, today across the country. Which, should we expect EFF members to, to come outside school today? Well, it's highly unlikely, Bratan, because our sources are also telling us that the EFF members might not even arrive in the next few days. However, we are being told that EFF leader Julius Malema could be here late next week. We also have heard or, or read on social media from Floyd Chivambu that the EFF will certainly consider coming here in Brackenfell to resolve some of the issues relating to race. Thank you very much, Ronald Masinda. We'll have to leave it there for.